What do we have today? Update! The report smells a little weird. Oh, the ro robot. Not sure what the mi we missed here. Anyway! Hey, Boyle! At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon more like it. Hey. I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello. I'm here to be hello, Dad. I can't not. <laughs> I can't not. I'm so happy that's not on my computer. <laughs> It'd be a, it might be a problem if that thing was just on my computer. <laughs> Anybody opening up boxes? Or is it rule of threes? Oh, I hear sliding noises. The sliding noises have lied to me. <laughs> I have been horribly lied to by vague left ear sliding noises that I heard. Why do you do this to me? I wonder if you can learn to talk to birds. Oh well, giving up on that forever. Wee. You seem to have gotten confident in me because you no longer remind me to come visit anymore. Oh. Morning, long night. Yep. Remember those big robot things from the food donkey? Mm-hmm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget bills, budget bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. There's always secretly way more. <laughs> numbers, numbers, numbers. Oh. I think this time there really isn't any more. Oh. I thought she was mm-hmmming sarcastically, but instead she was mm-hmmming because she's only half paying attention because she's losing her mind. Yay! You guys are never going to be done, are you? Although I'm slightly afraid of what'll happen when this gate, when the city actually does expand, so maybe it's best that construction's there. Because <laughs> then I'll have even more stuff to keep track of in this open world. My go-to rule is to stick to the power lines first. And see where, if anything, le is actually led to from there. Partly because I will lose track so hard of, of where I have and haven't been if I don't have a, like a, a system. Hey, it's this guy again. Hang on a minute, I gotta jump onto your roof the really unreasonable way instead of, you know, knocking on your door. Aha! 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 May Borowski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come to hunt down some Dusk Stars? Definitely. Come have a look. Every other day, gotta remember. Or just always check this area. Ah, <laughs> my eyes! Filter. Ugh. I should really wait for him to actually put it on next time. Like, just once. Where is it? I've been tricked into Mass Effect planet scanning again. That one? That one. That one? Oh, I had to press a button, I think. Found one, found one, found one! Let's have a look. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. By the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. Was he not psychic? Who can say? Do we believe any tale occur occurred? Huh. Either way, one day, his king met a new sage, an astronomer. And she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. 
and the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters. For the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even in one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? No? What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. <laughs> the stars, they make one think. Oh my god, are we talking about the modern system of economy where everybody has to make money in order to survive, but then the jobs are gradually decreasing over time and maybe there's actually going to be a dearth of actual opportunities to make money, but no lack, no lack of population, and even though we have the resources to feed everybody, everyone still has to earn money, even though there's no re ways to make money anymore, so people starve even though they're surrounded by food. Boom! Found one. Let's see. Ah, yes, Simone the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land, but under every good land are the roots of oppression, and in the land those roots took hold and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Chazikov. Thanks. I was just reading the summary off my phone. Oh. We may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway... When the borders closed and the curfew began, Sir, uh, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of, the gr of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in night that Simone would be their salvation. That's a lot of pressure for one person. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part in a growing organism. But she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of many things. So sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important. Like numbers. We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, uh, goddammit, I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates. And behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> that is history. That's both of them for today. Neato. That got really dark really fast. He even skipped the entire detail. He's just to me like, and then when they exhumed the mass graves, like just skipping the entire middle part where stuff actually happened. <laughs> wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs> now I've got to always remember every day. I wonder if they want... I bet you that they... Judging by the fact that you get two every day... I can't help but think that they probably thought at one point, like, I know, we'll have them, the player come back every single day to get a new constellation, and they're probably like, that's too, that's too consistent. This guy's here every day, and also, that's something that the player has to do every single day. It's going to become monotony if they have to do the same thing every single day all the time, as opposed to, like, little breaks of monotony, like, different days having different things. So they're probably like, well, we already made all the constellations, uh, what if we do two a day? I wouldn't be surprised if that was an actual conversation that happened during development. <laughs> I think he's all that's up here, though. Woo! Backward street. Let's do the street backwards. I'll never get off your porch, porch guy. You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. Oh, jeez. Sorry, not sorry. Totally, what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off top of my head? Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom? Um... I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. We used to eat in grade school. Oh, right. Yeah, those were really good. Did that other thing happen to you? 
Nope. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazikov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall off. He's gonna fall right off this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. Seen a fire up there the other night. Wonder who was up there. I feel like we're foreshadowing over time the idea that like, something's gonna come up with that water tower. It's so perfectly centered in the in the view. I got I gotta check the street level because there could be something, but who knows? So far, there's never been something, but not, but you never know. But uh, we went, when we got to that one camera angle, it seemed like. It seemed like the water tower was so perfectly centered, like it's a, a focal point. But we can't go there, or even look at it in any real way. But now I think we're hinting at that somebody's hanging up the, out, out there. Could it be the homeless guy? Could it be nothing? Is there going to be supernatural things happening? Is there going to be a crime story? Is there going to be some kind of actual drama where somebody's in trouble in some kind? Be it their life, or their livelihood, or... Just their way of life, probably their way of life, because it's probably a coming of age story. Or do we just keep hanging out with people? <laughs> we're simultaneously destructive to two different people at the same time, basically, because we're trying to influence. Is there anything new here? No. Seriously, nobody's talking about this missing person that I think was member a member of our band, and it's getting weird how we barely acknowledge that. But we have one person who is reserved and responsible and we're trying to make them unresponsible and we have another friend who used to be irresponsible but is like settling down and planning on moving and like figuring out their life and we're kind of making them regress so may borowski what are you doing we are the chloe of the story is what's happening wife long gone kids don't care tunnel fish are always there haha <laughs> yeah man Oh god, please don't listen. <laughs> He's the killer all along. <laughs> Wait, can I see his other arm? I can't. He, he's the one whose arm got cut off. Confirmed. Boom. Major plot point. Oh, I have to steal these. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Look away. I bet you you steal something in the first night no matter what. That's probably what happens. It probably, it probably doesn't matter whether you're with B or if you're with, uh... Oh, crap. Hey. My bad. I like preempt. I tried to, I tried to guess the timing instead of waiting. Uh, probably not gonna get another chance today, damn it. Oh uh, no, my miracle rats are gonna starve now. Now I feel bad. Well, that's the that'll just be the plot point, the the, uh, the variation of the plot line that we get, I guess. Maybe I can find other food. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess we'll see. There's a lot of uh, going down a path and walking backwards down a path when you're trying to be thorough in this place, because you can't, because there's all these little individual loops like this uh, tunnel. Yet surprisingly, you don't have to walk home at any point, so that you can't like cleanly pick up the other uh, route on the way home. We'll see. But I think I lost a train of thought somewhere. And we're just gonna have to live with that. Hey, it's Glitchy Eye. Hey, Glitchy Eye. The guy whose face changes color when he blinks. Maybe they'll patch that someday. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if the people turn on this character at all. As she kind of becomes a disruptive force as opposed to a harmless force as she is so far. Because I doubt that'll be the long-term case. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a story. can't stop jumping. <laughs> it's the only logical thing to do when running right so long. Oh no, is he gone? Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. His tent's still there. There's that water tower. Maybe he went up there. Oh, there he is. Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. I just kept to myself. And they went away. 
Where? Right over there. Past the water tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a place where the teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange noises ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back? Hope not. Yep. <laughs> Just want to jump off the ledge. Unless it's a giant ledge. What is your secret water tower? What if it's a red herring? Oh, I can totally... What if we're doing... What if we're doing, like, Firewatch type things where, like, stuff comes up, but it could be totally just, like, a random circumstance, but because you're expecting something to happen, you expect every... You start thinking everything's gonna go somewhere? You never know. You never know. Firewatch is really neat. There's another companion thing to check out. Yeah. If you're, in, if you're into this game so far, definitely should check out uh, Life is Strange, um, Oxen Free for sure, and uh, Firewatch. It's becoming its own subgenre. Are you gonna save us again? Maybe there'll be people here today. Oh! It's all the people that are probably here to be, uh, Probably all here to be bitchy about the homeless guy, right? He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? With all the books? He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Karen. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on, on this. It will be brought up in the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. That is more promising than I expected. I just assumed everyone was going to be awful about this because, well, people are awful in many cases. I don't know if you've seen... <laughs> House things. Okay. Weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours, and it was cozy, so I could take a nap guilt-free. You feel guilty about naps? Wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. That sounds like what someone says when they're not. <laughs> it's fine, May. It's going fine. That is exactly what somebody says when they don't think it's going well. But it's going to the it's going to the city council meeting, so maybe it is going well, or maybe they'll mis maybe they'll specifically spin it as a negative thing to make it fail. If they aren't into this and they're just being polite, you look tired all the time now. Hey, mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, hon. I'm leaving. I'm not even gonna check for more, di for more dialogue then. Where's the basement, though? I wanna go to the basement. Because I, I'm, cause I don't have a job and I just wander around town all day. <laughs> so I just wanna go everywhere. Oh my god. It, uh, We've reached a really weird paradox territory now where my job is to play a game where I pretend to not have a job and be whimsical about not having a job. But that's my job, which in itself doesn't feel like a job, but it, but it does job-like things. <laughs> my life's weird. Okay. Dog, why? Why can't we love? Why must dogs and cats fight? I'm here to be disappointing to you. Rats. Maybe they'll be gone anyway. And then I'll be like, oh, they're gone. I failed them. Oh, they were there before I got here, right? That'd be tragic if one day of failure means they all die. It's like the plant from Life is Strange or the fish from Mass Effect. I don't like living things depending on me. That's why I don't get them. That's oddly terrifying, the sounds they make. Why is that in the game? What if this was a cheat code, like... 
Tit, tit, tit. <laughs> like there's like some sort of tempo. And <laughs> you enter a cheat code. I think I've talked about that before though. For another weird input in this game. Oh yeah, the trash cans. It would just be interesting if there was like a really strange inclusion of a cheat code in this game. I think that's the net. I think as a video game player, there's a natural response of thinking along those terms whenever you have weird interactive objects. Like in uh, Owl Boy, uh, in Owl Boy, there was those drums, and I was like, "Do these drums do something?" And maybe they do something, maybe they don't do something. But at the very least, I definitely thought they would do something just because they existed. Because <laughs> things can't be pointless in video games, even though they totally can be pointless. But the first inclination is that nothing is ever pointless. Fear me! Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. I mean, we live in the day where uh, scaring ten pigeons off a ledge can be a real achievement that the game rewards you for, for some reason. I'm really glad I... I, I one of the nice side effects of uh, doing a, a channel, actually, is that I turned off notifications on my PlayStation 4, so I don't even see when trophies happen. And it's kind of nice, because I never think about them, except for the concept of them. Hey, kid, what you up to? Hey, adult, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want want to come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, let me answer before you decide to say no. Oh, okay. Did you want to go? Sure. Oh, good. Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's rock. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights from last year still up. <laughs> Someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year, and we left them out too long. And they, like, liquefied. Oh yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. Our mom was so mad that my dad... It was his job to get rid of them. He had to, like, mop it up. I seen, like, a time-lapse video of when a corpse decays... And, like, everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yep. So, like, a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. Oh, no. Couldn't you derail it? Or much more likely have a horrifying metal fragment go somewhere? I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. Why? I don't know. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that? Where you're so excited you go to sleep. Coffee makes me sleepy. Nah, <laughs> wuss. Guilty. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> I have weird thoughts. Like, sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods, or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day. And only come out at night. And be, like, a monster. And, like, beautiful. Those are, like, really attainable dreams. Oh, <laughs> I'm not beautiful. Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I'm objectively gross. Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. Okay, this cartoon's giving me anxiety now. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Yay. You little metal guys all wow. He represents the human soul. <laughs> this is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, 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 okay. Let's roll. 
That's super dangerous. They're laying down between the tracks and also putting something metal on the tracks just to like... What if it like went at them? See ya. Uh, oh my goodness. This week in Terrible Ideas. Lorem. Horror movies. Trains. Knives. Bones. Skulls. Flags? Oh, the metal guy, I think. I think that's the little metal guy that represents the human soul. <laughs> I freaking died tonight. Greg rules, okay? The way that these are on separate pages definitely makes me think that that's the alternate nights. Like, what, maybe, maybe, uh, B is always on the left, and maybe, <clears throat> maybe Greg's always on the right. And it represents, the, the empty page represents the thing you didn't get to do. Or maybe other things get filled in those pages, I don't know. There's a lot of empty spots. And I think this game has almost an almost nightmarish amount of uh, missable content, so, uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, at this point, like, it's reasonable that a lot of you guys could probably play this game and just make the opposite decisions and get a surprising amount of completely different stuff out of that. Whew!